Speaker. A point of order, Honourable Darren Hughes. The, uh, the member, I will raise a, a technical point of order about the, uh, the bill uh, and the uh, regulatory impact statement which uh, is referred to in the bill uh, contains a reference to a website uh, and I'm advised that the website address that's in the bill doesn't actually connect to the regulatory impact statement. It's probably something that can be fixed very quickly uh, from an IT yeah. perspective but it is the Minister for Regulatory what? Reforms. Yeah, well, it's a point of order about the bill. We need to have the information. It, it, if, it, if, it, the, if the Minister in charge could see to that. Well, it, it's, it's not a point of order in relation to the order of the House, and I think the member, having raised the point, someone will now address it. Craig Foss. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, may I first, uh, before I comment on the Taxation Budget Measures Bill, um, acknowledge and thank um, Finance Minister Bill English and our Prime Minister, Mr John Key, for what is a step change budget of which this bill starts to bring alive and put into effect. Mr Speaker, this budget is a step change. This gets rid of some of the imbalances in our economy and it addresses so much of what's been talked about by so many over so many years and it puts it into action. As I acknowledged yesterday, the Labor government actually talked about some of these issues. They actually never did a thing about them. In fact, perpetuated them and made them worse, Mr Speaker. But I'd also like to acknowledge our coalition partners and particularly um, the Honourable Peter Dunn with the work he's done um, in and around the uh, taxation changes here, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I was quite intrigued the previous Speaker has this newfound interest in inflation. Mr Speaker, under his regime when he was in Cabinet, in fact, the non-tradable inflation was running about 4% because the rest of the economy was in recession. The reason I raise that, Mr Speaker, is because the member has made a key point about that in his speech, yet, in fact, they also, this, this focus they're having on inflation, yet they're also trying to rewrite the monetary policy framework or doing some task groups on that or something. So you need to get the story straight, um, members on the other side. You're either rigid about inflation or you're not. Some other points that the other member did quite miss because they assume life is static. If inflation is going up, it also assumes wages are going up. Uh, sir, because wages do tend to track inflation, at the very least flat um, real wages actually do increase as our economy gets better, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, fairness and equity is back, and this bill, the Taxation Budget Measures Bill, brings fairness and equity back, back. And interestingly, as the Prime Minister in his speech noticed, much of the, um, the, the macro, the numbers there, are actually exactly where they were brought back to when Mr Goff was in uh, Cabinet in 1988 and 1989 from memory, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, it also brings into place putting some of the balances back. There is an encouragement for financial assets. We hear time and time again, actually the previous member wrongly, I suggest, talked about nothing's done about the um, housing bubble and the creation of housing assets or investment property assets. Well, actually, if you look at the change in the taxation of financial assets, the taxation of financial assets down to 28 cents, Mr Speaker, matching the awesome corporate tra tax change down to 28 cents in the dollar. Also, Mr Speaker, therein lies the incentive in action, and you just, excuse me, Mr Speaker, members should watch those macros change as investment moves to financial assets in and around in New Zealand and hand in hand with the, some of the changes the Honourable Mr Simon Power is bringing in. Mr Speaker, just one thing, there are, there are a few uh, commentaries in already. And regardless of uh, what the previous member spoke, I'd just like to quote from one Mr Bernard Hickey, whose commentary so far on the budget, it's only about two hours, three hours old, in fact, and I couldn't put this better myself, I don't, I don't think, um, or perhaps apart from the last sentence, but I'll read it. This is the most comprehensive and coherent reform of New Zealand's taxation system in more than 25 years. It goes a long way to tilting the economy back towards productive investment and away from property investment. Mr Speaker, that sums up the budget, only three hours old, Mr Speaker, because feeding from that budget is this bill that's before us tonight, Taxation Budget Me Measures Bill, and if members, many, many members I'm sure I'm not going to read uh, right through to page 60 odd, but I suggest they particularly read the commentary, and there's some interesting highlights on page two, Mr Speaker, which brings up the new schedule of the taxation rates, particularly the changes are the current rates versus rates from 1st of October 2010. Mr Speaker, fairness, equity, a sustainable growth is back. New Zealand is about to step up and take, take charge of its destiny again. Mr Speaker, in the current times, current financial stresses around the globe, this is a budget for our time, for future generations. Mr Speaker, fairness and equity is back.